horticulture, is my guess. He's from Berkeley, by the way. That's that's dead where I'm from. There you go. You've lost me, Ali. Many cases of this, though. Yin is yeah. in as well. Heads up. That's heads up right now? Yeah. Well, Humboldt. Like Northern Cali, I guess. Oh, Bit of a golden yeah, triangle. Up. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Well, you know, holler at me after the broadcast, by the way. <laughs> Lady, too. Lady. King eight yeah. deuce, two clubs. Flush draw for Yin. Yeah. Top pair for Aldemir. Mm -hmm. Bit naked for Kolner. The red jack nine. Seventy-five K, the bet from Yao Yin, fifty-eight-year-old from La Crosse, Wisconsin. You know, Yin leads out straight away. A little bit unorthodox on a disconnected <coughs> king high board, defending big blind versus a hijack open and and a small blind call. But he's sort of seeing where he's at. For Aldemir, let's observe the procedures. Probably we come with a call, but. There's no argument for inflating this pot with this particular hand out of position, is there? There are some arguments. If he thinks Yin is doing this with something like every King X, then the 10 kicker becomes quite strong. Flush draw so on, but he does come with the sort of conventional root. Here we go. So down to heads up as the preflop raiser's out of there. The seven is of no assistance to either player. Up go the shades. Oh, look at this. Holy, did he just snap jam? That the puck is next to that. He he's all in, Ali. He sure is. And he's got Aldemir covered. Snap, by the way. Easier said than done from the booth, but I think after a quite long tank, Korai probably finds this call. Although he's grabbing his cards. A lot easier from the booth, by the way. Just south of thirty bigs. Let's just peruse. Here we are. I, Odd I, spot for Karai. I have to ask, Nick. It is the main. And one of the things that I've heard so often from people... Let's observe the champ here. Go on, Ali. ...is don't go broke with I one pair. I know what you're saying, but big blind, he just defends. We can rule out ace-king. We can rule out <laughs> ace-ace. Yes, he can have two pair. Eight do suited, some kind of kings up. Yeah. But he's just going to snap jam like this? Karai just asked him if he has two pair. Let's just observe. And then all the flush draws come to mind, and then the combo draws, which might have connected with the seven, five, nine of clubs, and so on. Tough spot for Karai here. Do we presume that the likes of King Jack and King Queen would be less inclined to jam and maybe come with something a little bit more standard in terms of sizing in the ace kings we hear from pre? I, I suppose that might be something we're thinking. I do think King Jack and King Queen are possible in this odd sort of spot. The eight deuces maybe don't defend the 8-7 wouldn't play this way. It, the, the pocket pairs, 8s and 7s, deuces. Let's let's look, we'll look at the at flop. This and a stare down from Mr. Yin as well. Very nice, sir. The pocket 8s and the pocket deuces would want more chips to come in. This is sort of a a pressure move here. I agree, I, I agree with all of this, Ollie. Oh, sorry. Is out in bail. Champion of the world here, guys. Tony oh, does call, Ali. My Mr. Yin goodness. doesn't like it, and here we are. Karai finds himself as a 4-1 to one favorite, 1 to come. 1.1 1. 1 in the middle. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A very gutsy call for his tournament life here Sweaty. by Karai Aldemir, okay. but he is by no Sweaty. means out of the woods. <laughs> Needs to fade the nine outs. All those clubs at the top of your screen would send him packing and give Yao Yin this pop. What's the river? It's the six. It's black, but it's a spade. And Karai Aldemir's run at a defense continues. Sure does. 